For some, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is the best game in the Rockstar franchise. We also cannot deny that GTA Say is one of the best games of all time. Initially, the game was released for PlayStation 2, Xbox, and Windows PC. The game, which had a consolidated fan base because of its predecessors, was a huge success as predicted and to this day, the game is very successful in the retro gamer community and is one of the most remembered when we talk about old games. And to remember a little about GTSA, let's review the 10 most difficult missions in this great game. 10. Monster GTA missions when involving any type of vehicle such as cars, motorcycles, boats, or planes are mostly more difficult, and the monster mission is no different. Passing this mission is a real pain in the ass. Here you need to get all the checkpoints on the road. But don't think that this will be an easy task, as you need to cover a path in an allotted time. Most of the stretch is off the highway, which can cause the truck to overturn and waste time. Nine OG Lock. As we said previously, missions with vehicles are more difficult and the OG Lock mission is precisely with a motorcycle. After reuniting with hilarious rapper OG Lock, fresh out of prison, you'll be tasked with chasing down an enemy of his on a motorcycle. You can't lose sight of him and you need to drive very well. To make the mission even more difficult, you have to follow this guy through very narrow alleys and streets. Anyone who has played this franchise knows that the slightest bump while riding a bike can send you flying, often to your death. The first few times you take this mission, this will probably happen to you a lot. Eight Farewell, My Love Farewell, My Love is a car racing mission in which our main character faces off against his ex's boyfriend. Driving a powerful vehicle, you need to navigate the red checkpoints that appear on the track. The track is curvy and challenging, and you need to cut some shortcuts and also drive your car on dirt roads. But pay attention to the curves because if you do something wrong, you will need to start all over again. An interesting fact about this mission is that you can see Claude, who is the main character in GTA 3. Seven, robbing Uncle Sam. In this mission, we have a partner in crime who will help us in our mission. However, this partner of ours is a little clumsy and I confess that he is more of a hindrance than a help. Here what we have to do is steal boxes from military soldiers, but our friend Ryder makes this much more difficult than it would be if CJ was doing it alone. While you use the forklift to get the boxes, it gets stuck in a firefight and you have to get back there. It gives the impression that he can't do his part alone. Six Cop Wheels the addition of a timer and set time to complete a mission makes it much more difficult. Cop Wheels has this and to top it off, it also has the additional annoyance of making you repeat what you are doing, having to go back and forth four times. It's hard enough to find a police officer on a motorcycle. If that wasn't enough, you have to take the motorcycle back to the getaway truck and repeat this several times. This is not everything. The moment you steal the policeman's motorcycle, they come gnashing their teeth in anger, dying to kill you. Be careful not to tear your own hair out when you are close to completing the mission and time is running out. Five, learning to fly. Well, Carl, so what do you think of our new base of operation? If driving or piloting a motorcycle is already difficult in GTA, now imagine flying a plane. For those who arrived on the mission for the first time, you will notice the discomfort and difficulty in maneuvering the single engine. 
completing the mission the first time is almost impossible. Remembering that it's not just a single engine that you fly, but war helicopters too. In addition to piloting, there is also a parachute jump. Completing this mission requires a lot of patience and training to acquire the necessary skills to complete it. Four end of the line. As it is the last mission of the game, it is normal that end of the line has to be among the most difficult. And indeed it is, Firstly, to enter this mission, you need to take at least 35% of Los Santos' territory. So we can already see that it will not be an easy task. End of the Line is a multi-stage quest, taking you through a series of tasks to finish the game. These tasks include breaking into buildings, driving a tank, fighting a group of bandits, chasing a fire truck, of course, the additional caveat is a time limit because of this mission, when you finish it, you will feel a sense of accomplishment. Free Fall. If you don't like missions where you fly a plane, this is another one that will give you a headache. Free Fall is a mission that will remain long in your memory. Your task is to drive a slow plane while trying to catch up to one that is much faster. This mission will take you a long time to acquire enough skill to complete it. Two, wrong side of the tracks. Wrong side of the tracks is another GTA mission that involves chases. Here you will have to chase a train on a motorcycle with big smoke on the back. If you are one of those who, when you have difficulty completing a mission, run to the internet to look for some tips, you will certainly find it. Because there is nothing so difficult that someone won't discover a way that will make their job a lot easier. One, supply lines. If flying a plane is already difficult in GTA missions, now imagine flying a model plane. That's what you'll have to learn to pass the supply lines mission. But don't expect it to be easy because flying a model airplane can be more difficult than flying a real plane. With the model plane, you will have to chase and eliminate some enemies. Most of them are in a van, which makes the mission more difficult. Another point that makes the mission more complicated to carry out is that you have to eliminate all the enemies before the plane runs out of fuel. These are the 10 hardest missions in the game Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Do you agree with this list or do you think there should be other missions here that you consider more difficult? I want to see your opinions in the comments below. Until the next video,